Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my dear students. In the previous classes, we had completed uh, two parts of speech that is nouns and pronouns. Today we will start third parts of speech that is adjectives. But before, let's check the answers of pronouns. I hope students that you have completed all the answers yourself and maybe your answers are correct. So check these answers. Now you have grammar get also. So you can do this exercise in grammar get also. Now let's start third number parts of speech that is adjectives. An adjective is a word that describes noun or pronoun. Adjectives usually provide relevant information about the nouns or pronouns. They modify by answering the questions what kind, how many, what shape or size, what color and so on. For example, I have 10 candies in my pocket. How many candies do you have in your pocket? 10 candies. So 10 is a number of candies. Now let's move to kinds of adjectives. There are mainly five kinds of adjectives they are as under. Number one, descriptive adjectives. It describes the quality of the noun and that's why it's also known as adjectives of quality. Here you will be get the answer to the question what kind. For example, a good idea. What kind of idea? Good idea. A funny story, a valuable gift, a clever student. It shows quality, size, origin, color, shape, taste, look or some other quality of nouns and pronouns. I give another example like uh, he is a funny little man. Funny is a quality of a man. Little is the size of a man. So both are adjectives. The green grasshopper is sitting on the flower. Green is the color of grasshopper. So it's a adjective which describes grasshopper noun. So it's known as descriptive adjectives or you can say adjectives of quality. Now look at the another adjective that is demonstrative adjectives. The word demonstrative suggests pointing out. The adjectives that point out nouns are called demonstrative adjectives. The show whether the noun they refer to is singular or plural and whether it is located near or far. Now look at the example this, this, that and those. This we, we can use for the thing which is near to you and which is in singular form. These we can use for the things which are near to you and which are in a plural form. That we can use for that things which is far to you and which is in a singular form. Those we can use for things which are far to you and which are in a plural form. Demonstrative adjectives answer the question which. Look at here some examples there. This pan is very expensive. This pan, this is known as demonstrative adjectives. Pan is a noun which is in a singular form. So this is known as demonstrative adjective. Look at that man. That is demonstrative adjective. Man is a noun that we can use for the thing or person which is far to you. These mangoes are ripe. These we can use for the things which are in a plural form and which are near to you. Mangoes here in a plural form. So that's why mangoes, these mangoes, mangoes are noun. Look at those men. Those we can use for the things a person 
which are far to you. Here man is a plural form M E N man. Here M E N man is a singular. That's why here that and here those. Now don't be confused between demonstrative pronoun and demonstrative adjectives. Do you know what is the difference between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns? A demonstrative adjective is always followed by a noun. Look at here, demonstrative adjective this, which is followed by noun pen. That which is followed by noun man. This which is followed by noun mangoes. Those which is followed by noun man. And a demonstrative pronoun is used to refer back to a noun that is not mentioned specifically. Here it mentions specifically like pen, man, mangoes, man, etc. Now demonstrative pronoun, I give another, uh, one example. Can you see that question mark sentence over? Now can you see that, that peacock, that pehen, that parrot is not mentioned specifically. So that's why. Here, that is known as demonstrative pronoun. Now, let's move to another adjectives that is possessive adjectives. The adjectives that show possession or belonging are called possessive adjectives. Like my, your, his, her and so on are possessive adjectives used with nouns to show ownership. I just give one example here like this is my pen this is my pen or this is my book now look at here pen and book both are noun so this is my pen or this is my book so here book and pen is a noun and my is used for possession so that's why it's known as possessive adjectives. Now look at the difference between possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Possessive pronoun is used instead of a noun. This pen is mine or this book is mine. So here it's used in place of a noun. While possessive adjective is used to describe a noun pen and book it comes before the noun this is my pen this is your pen this is his pen etc so students i hope it's clear to you and i hope that now you haven't any confusion between possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns now look at the next one interrogative adjectives a word that modifies a noun by asking a question is called an interrogative adjective. For example, whose book was that? Which pen do you like more? What product did you order from there? Interrogative pronoun stand alone. They do not modify nouns or pronouns. But here, interrogative adjectives modify nouns or pronouns. Look at here. Whose book? Book is a noun. So, who's saying about book noun? It say more about noun. Which city? City is a noun. So, interrogative adjective which stand for the noun city. Then what product did you order from there? Product is a noun. So what is stand for? Product. Interrogative. Adjective. What is stand for? Noun. So that's why it's known as interrogative adjectives. So students remember that interrogative pronouns stand alone. They do not modify nouns or pronouns. For example, what is your favorite hobby? What is? After what immediately I use is helping verb, not any noun or any pronoun. So that's why what is your favorite hobby in this sentence? What is the interrogative pronoun? If your interrogative 
doesn't modify a noun or pronoun that known as interrogative pronoun and if your interrogative modify noun or pronoun so it's known as interrogative adjectives now look at the last one adjectives of quantity we can see that it tells us the amount or number or quantity of noun for example 1 2 3 etc for second third etc and so on it expresses the proper or it tells the proper or exact number the another like uh, all both much many some it tells the approximate number so students i hope you got it everything once again try to understand it yourself will see the exercise now look at the exercise now look at the exercise underline the adjectives and write their kinds number 1 rana pratap was a great warrior rana pratap was a warrior but what kind of warrior great warrior so great is known as adjectives now which kind of adjectives great is a quality of rana pratap so that's why great is known as descriptive adjective or you can say that it's known as quality adjectives now look at the next one sirin is a beautiful girl sirin is a girl but sirin is a beautiful girl girl is a noun and beautiful is saying more about noun girl so that's why beautiful is a adjective is a quality of a noun girl so that's why it's also known as descriptive adjective or you can say that it's known as adjective of quality children are innocent creatures children is a noun are innocent creatures creatures is also noun but so here innocent is saying more about creatures so that's why innocent is also known as descriptive adjective now look at the fourth one please give me some food to eat please give me food to eat but here which word is used for food some food so some is a adjective some is saying about food noun some is used for the approximate number so here some is known as adjective of quantity number 5 there are 25 students in our class there are how many students 25 so 25 is a number it's a which kind of number it's known as proper number exact number so it's also known as adjective of quantity now look at another in our class in class class is a noun in our class r is a possession so it's known as possessive adjective now look at the next one ranjana gave me this pen on my birthday ranjana gave me pen this pen so this is saying about pen noun this we use for the thing which is near to us and which is singular so this is known as which kind of uh, which kind of adjectives it's a demonstrative adjective on my birthday my is showing possession so it's known as possessive adjective look at the next one do you see that red crab do you see crab 
But here, the word that and red is also saying about crab. So that and red both are adjective. That is known as demonstrative adjective. And red is saying the color of crab. So that's why it's, it's known as which kind of adjective? Descriptive adjective. Now look at the last one. The big fish is swimming with many small fishes. Here big is saying more about noun fish. Many small fishes both are adjectives. So here big and small are saying about noun fishes. So both are known as descriptive adjectives because they, it's saying about the size of fish. So it's known as descriptive adjective. And many. Many is saying about the numbers. So that's why it's known as adjective of quantity. Now look at the another examples. Students try to identify different kinds of adjectives here. Underline it and write the kinds of adjectives there. So I hope students you are able to do this exercise yourself. Once again read all the uh, kinds of uh, adjectives, definitions of adjectives and try to do this exercise yourself.